Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully complete our update profile, right? So right now here, if you update anything, our username, name, and after that, if you click as a save changes, now that will be updated. You can see, but here when it's updated, actually it's not display any notification. So if you want to display the notification in BFS section, I have already discussed about that things with you. I hope you already know about this part. I want to do, if you go to your exercise folder, into the exercise folder, I have already write down the toaster.txt is very simple one of the things now i want to do i want to take like here we will need one of the toaster um, css and also we will need one of the toaster mean js and and that is one of the script will be needed okay right now simple things for the reasons here i want to do i want to write i just simply take it from here i want to copy the toaster css all that our css and jss i have already added everything in our admin in our admin dashboard okay so into the admin dashboard here uh, after that i want to do and to simply take it as a toaster.css make that sure you add it and also we'll need to add our toaster mean css better i copy that means js i copy it and also i want to copy that script i simply copy this total script okay both of this i copy it right now we don't need it i want to close it and now in our same in our admin dashboard area here after that okay i want to paste it okay make that sure you load that script and also make that sure you load that toaster mean chess so friend that's all you have to do they have the different type of um alert type as the info type okay that is the info type success type that is the earning type and that will be our error type now you can actually uh, use it as per your demand uh, so that's all you have to do now if you want to display this uh, notification message then we have to do if you go to our admin controller here i have already done our ad admin profile update that means see store here i want to do after that save okay after that save i want to do and to display some of the notification i have already loaded all that our toaster css jss file now we are able to do this work here i take one of the variable as a notification notification and here we have to do have to pass one of the array so i simply take one of the array and into this array area here i want to do okay here i want to do i want to simply take this array and into this area array area here we have to pass two things one will be here if you go one will be here as a message right here we have to display our session all that message so that is our message and message which type of message you want to visible you can actually visible it like i want to visible as an admin okay admin profile okay profile updated updated successfully okay so that will be the successfully so successfully great so now that will be our message and also here we have to do we have to pass our another things so we have to pass that our alert type which type of alert you want to visible you can actually visible it now that is also another one as a alert type alert type that will be as a success right so for the reasons here i want to use it as a success so that is our success type will be visible that's all okay and now that is the one of the notification that is the notification now we have to pass it's when it will be returned redirect to the back page and after that i want to pass with with our that is the notification okay that's all now that should be display our notification message if you now click as a save all and now if you go our page i want to refresh it and now i want to update like as a username only admin now if you click as a save changes Hmm, you can see it's now visible our success type as an admin profile updated successfully <laughs> great and but here our header area here actually i didn't update it so now let's update this part so that is in our header right now we are able to change our profile so that should be also updated so that is in our admin body and header into the header area here you can see that is actually one of the image and also uh, they have another image that is a two image right so i want to do to first of all get this data so here if you have to get it better right now i want to take one of the php block and i want to make it as a and php so our concept will be actually just like that same here i have already taken it you can see our concept will be just like that same better i copy it from to the controller and then in here in our header area i want to do in our php blog area i want to paste it 
but right now uh, we are actually accessing our admin model right so that is our user model so if you want to access that user model in our blade page here we have to apply this total path but in our controller we can see that is our user right here I have already load that path you can see that is our app and then the models so now we are using in our blade area if you want to access that our model we have to access it with the direct path as the app models and the user okay so make that sure you update it right now I take as a data perfect so friend that's all now uh, with this data we can actually display it our image our image I have already displayed in our admin profile uh, this one so better I will just simply copy it if they have an image it should be displayed the image rather than rather than that will be displayed as a no image right I copy it and now in our admin that means header header area that is one of the image I want to simply update it I paste it okay right now only we have to change that our variable name or rather then you can also change that variable I take variable as a profile data then that will be displayed with this profile data it should be accessed our photo great and also the same things I want to do I want to update okay I want to update another image because there have also another image you can see there is also another image here I want to paste it great and if you now also display the name email you can display it by the variable that is actually our variable I copy it I have already get our authenticated user data now I want to visible it okay now that will be by this profile I want to display the name and also by this profile I want to display our email that means our user table field name as a email that's all okay now that should be also updated if you now click as a save all and now if you go I want to refresh it now if you can see it's successfully updated yes you can see that the name is updated and also email address is updated right and also if you go like here there is our image so if you want to change it I want to change our new one like I want to change hmm, like this one right now click as a save changes now that should be updated yes you can see there is admin profile updated here it's successfully updated that is also successfully updated and if you go yeah you can see there is also another image but that is the our same user right here I want to do when our new image will be uploaded our that will be actually replaced because that is the same user ID uh, image I want to up update so if you want to uh, replace it only you have to do in our admin controller um, into the admin controller that is actually our image so after that file path okay our previous one I want to uh, unlink so if you want to unlink then that will be the at the rate unlink so that is our at the rate unlink function function will be as the same public path into the public path area here from where ex exactly I have uploaded so that it will be as the uploaded and admin images this area I have actually uploaded before right here you can see I have uploaded that things in here so now from to this position we have to do we have to unlink it unlink will be our by this data okay by this data I want to do that is a continuation and here by this data I want to delete our photo okay that will be the photo to your photo okay I want to do I want to simply remove this photo so now that will be actually replace our old one now let's check this out it's working or not if you now click as a save all and now I want to check it I want to refresh it right now in here that is a two image right so now that should be not inserted another new one it should be replace our this one let's check this out I want to choose another image like I want to choose right now this one now click as a save changes yeah successfully admin profile updated that is also updated everything is updated and if you now go yes you can see now it's not insert new one it's replace our previous one right so it's successfully done our unlink function is also successfully working I hope friend everything is very clear now our next job is we have to do we have to complete that our change password okay so how to do this work in our next video I will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.